listen, you are not alone. He, you know, Christ in you, the you know, forces of God's kingdom are working for you and will certainly deliver you and bring you out of whatever challenges you may be faced with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise God, hallelujah. Now that is a sure word of God of prophecy. It's a sure promise of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So right now, we're just going to get into the, um, the, the message that the Lord has for us. And uh, we are, uh, we're looking at uh, this topic called God's Kingdom Forces Working for You. God's Kingdom Forces what Working for You. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, so this is the fourth week now we're dealing on this you know, topic. And very, very powerful, very, very powerful you know, uh, topic. God's Kingdom Forces you know, Working you know, for You. Uh, and uh, our main text uh, is uh, taken from the book of you know, 2 Kings chapter 6. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 6, reading from verse 8. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It says, Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel, and he consulted with his servants, saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down there. Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him, and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. Verse 13, he says, So he said, Go and see where he is, that I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, Surely he, he is in Dothan. Therefore the, he sent horses and chariots and a great army there. And they came by night and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early, and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. The Lord bless the of his words in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, each time I read this scripture, it, it thrills me so, so much. Now, and this is the sort of the main text that we've been using for this um, teaching over the last uh, three weeks now, this being the fourth week. So here is Elisha, um, the king of Israel, had, pardon me, the king of you know, Syria, uh, had um, sent an army to get him. Excuse me, because he has been um, leaking out secrets. <laughs> he has been, you know, sort of uh, giving out his uh, secret, you know, um, uh, military uh, um, secrets, military, you know, secrets. Yes, to the king of uh, Israel, and so I mean, he was really, really upset, and really wanted to just get this guy, and uh, perhaps you know, arrest him and do whatever. So he sent this army, an army, you know, uh, they went to Dothan to surround the city. But you see, um, you know, when, when, when Elisha's, you know, servant, you know, came out, he saw them and he was, he was scared. And rightfully so, he was really scared. Uh, and uh, when, when Elisha came out, Elisha said, no, do not, be, do not fear, for, for those who are with us are more than those, than those with them. <laughs> now, that is really... Um, that's, that's powerful because Elisha um, saw, obviously, in the realm of the spirit, he saw the forces of God's you know, kingdom that were um, sort of uh, uh, that were there, okay, and far more than the uh, the Syrian army that came to arrest him. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! So, so this is what you know we're looking at here that God's 
kingdom, the forces of God's kingdom are available and they are here to work for you. You get what I'm saying? They are available and they are, God has made them, God has created them to work for you and I. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now, when we're talking about no forces, we mean the, the military or fighting strength of a nation. The military or the fighting strength of a nation of a kingdom. Okay, we're talking about the military or the fighting strength of a nation of a, of a kingdom. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now, as you know, um, you know, in any kind of you know, war, uh, they don't send the police. <laughs> uh, is is the military, the armies? That's who uh, they will deploy to uh, to protect, you know, the uh, uh, perhaps you know uh, the national integrity of that particular you know, nation. And uh, so that is one of the key things that you know the military, because these are specially trained, you know, for such sort of. Um, 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 for such you know, tasks, okay, praise God. Now, yeah, I mean, in recent times, now we've seen, say, for instance, you know, um, uh, you know, in, in, in the case of a civil war in a country, like for say, for instance, um, or maybe between countries, you know, let's say, you know, in Ukraine, for instance, before the war started in Ukraine, uh, the, uh, the, the embassies there. Um, you know, had to sort of, you know, they, they, before they closed down, they had to get all the citizens of the various no nations in that country. And what did they do? They said, hey, listen, you know, are you, you, are, you know, you need to start making arrangements. We need to leave this country. They need to leave. So uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the governments of such nations sent what? Sent, you know, aircrafts, uh, aircrafts to come and to, uh, evacuate their own citizens. Praise God, hallelujah. And they, who did they send? They sent the military. It's the military personnel that they will send to do such. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. So, and we, we've also seen that as well in uh, quite recently as well in uh, in Sudan, where you know um, embassies, you know, closed up there before they closed down. They sent uh, military, you know, personnels with um, military um, aircrafts, you know, uh, C-130 aircrafts or so, other kind of, you know, or uh, chartered aircrafts to convey, to evacuate what their own, what their own citizens from such, you know, um, um, uh, so, so they're, not, they're not involved in such a um, um, war uh, crisis in those, in that nation. So these are the things. So they, so such governments, make such plans. I'm sure some of you may still remember, you know, something similar, I think it was about two or three years ago uh, in Afghanistan, when I think the American forces or the British forces were leaving, I mean, some of them, uh, you know, at the airport, you know, some of the Afghans were able to hold it on to the aircraft as well, you know, because they wanted to go with them. So such is what's happening. But, but, the, but the key thing is this, you know, just like, you know, with those Afghans, many, many people saw, the the British forces or the American forces only came to take their own people. They only came to take their own citizens. Now, because you know they, there was war by the, with the Taliban, you know that is taking that is just so all. I mean, their time had already gone basically, so they really wanted to to move all their um, their people. Now, so in the same way, it is there is a war situation in the world right now, a spiritual war. You can only be protected by the forces of God's kingdom if and only if you are a citizen of God's kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, why did I say that there's a war situation right now currently in the world? Now, if you go to the book of the Revelation chapter 12. Now, this has not it's been an ongoing thing, by the way. It's an age-long war. An age-long you know, war. So, if you go to the book of Revelation chapter 12, I'll read verse 12. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. What does it say? It says, Therefore, Rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with what? Having what? Great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. They say that the devil, for the devil has come. It says, therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you. Come down from where? Come down from heaven. Because he was in heaven before he was chucked down from heaven. 
has come down to you having what great rot because he ha- knows that he has what a short and great rot. He's, he is, he is, he is, he's got such anger. He is coming to threaten, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is why the, this, this, listen, this has been an ongoing what? War against humanity. Now, if you look at you know, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, which you have used here severally, several times, severally. If he, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 says, no, For we do not wrestle, we do not wrestle against what? Against flesh and blood, but against what? Against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, of this age, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness, in the heavenly world, in the heavenly places. These are the forces of Satan's kingdom that are arrayed against what humanity. Now, you have no chance of survival. You have no chance of ever being able to stand against these evil, spiritual, formidable forces of Satan's kingdom. This is forces except you are being protected and you are being kept by the forces of God's kingdom, if and only if you are what? A citizen of God's kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's the way it works. Just as you know, we see that, you know, we've seen that, you know, play that you know, severally in civil wars or wars between, like, you know, like I said, you know, Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine, before Russia started bombarding, you know, uh, Ukraine, you know, People were having to move. People even moved and you know, had to go to the neighboring uh, country. Um, I can't remember the name of that country now. Yeah. So why? Because there was there was a state of war already declared. So people had to, you know, governments came, evacuated their citizens. Why? Because and if you are not a citizen, they can't they can't take you, they can't lift you, they can't lift you, they can't protect you. Amen. Now. We are not being taken away from here. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, has, you know, yeah. So, but God protects us. God keeps us, and He keeps us what by His power. He keeps us what by what by His own power in this place. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. And He keeps us no with by what His 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 forces, the forces of His kingdom that He has put in place already for you and I to protect us and to give us what supernatural commanding what victories over the powers of Satan's forces. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, Amen. Now, do understand this as well. If you look at the book of Colossians chapter one, Colossians chapter one verse sixteen, a very very powerful, very powerful scripture. It says that for by Him. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, it says that for by him all things were what were created that are in heaven or on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. The King James Version says, and all things were created for by him and for him. Praise the Lord. So all the so the principal the, that I mentioned what was mentioned in you know, Ephesians chapter six verse twelve it says the principalities the powers the rulers of the darkness of this world the spiritual hosts of wickedness in heaven all were what they were created by who by Jesus Christ first of all hallelujah it says for by Him who is in Him there it's talking about Jesus Christ it's talking about who Jesus Christ so if you have Christ in you listen. You are then protect just as Elisha. You see, Elisha was protected. Elisha was, you know, had because he was he was a, an ambassador of God's kingdom. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. He was a prophet of God. He was doing the work of God. So he was what an ambassador, Hallelujah. And that when you become a born again Christian, and you are then reconciling people to God through the word of God, like we do here. We're out on the streets as well, you know, meeting people, talking with people, you know, telling them about Jesus, giving them the tracks and the flyers, whatever it is. Hey, what have you become? You are then what an ambassador of God's kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so you have the rights and the privileges of an ambassador that the kingdom of our heavenly father that we serve, hallelujah, he will do what? He fights for us and he protects us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So now understand this. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16, it says, For by him, 
to a world where all things created that are in heaven or on earth, visible or invisible, whether thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and what and for him. And if that Christ who created them lives in you, he works in you continually, according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, both to will and to do of his good pleasures, reconciling people to God. You know, you are out there, you are constantly doing that. Listen, you are not alone. He, you know, Christ in you, the, the forces of God's kingdom are working for you and will certainly deliver you and bring you out of whatever challenges you may be faced with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise God, hallelujah. Now that is a sure word of what of prophecy. It's a sure promise of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so we must understand this, okay, that you know you must be a you must you must surrender to your life to Christ. You must repent of your sins. You in order to become a citizen of God's kingdom, so that the angels, so that the forces, pardon me, so that the forces of God's kingdom can fight for you, watch over you, you know, help you, you know, in this life, you must be what a citizen of God's word of God's kingdom. In order to become a citizen of God's kingdom, that means you have to repent of your sins. You turn away from a life of sin. You then, you know, accept God's forgiveness, as I always pray for uh, for people lead you in a prayer, in, in prayer every uh, at the end of the service. And then you then receive who Jesus Christ uh, uh, by faith into your heart as your what? As your Savior and Lord. By so doing, you are then, you are now born again. You then become what? A citizen of God kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, so now there was something that you know, Jesus said in the book of you know, John chapter 16, verse 33. John 16, 33. A very powerful, you know, scripture there. John chapter 16, verse 33. It says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have what? Peace. In the world you would have what? Tribulation. But be of good cheer. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have overcome what the world. Praise God. It says that I have what I have overcome the world. Now that is a very powerful statement. The word overcome there means it means to uh, to overpower. It means to do what to overpower to overcome. I mean, to, pardon, the word overcome means to overpower to subdue using what a superior what force. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it is the forces of God's kingdom working for you that you will be able to overcome every temptation, every testing, every trial, whatever tribulation that may come your way, our way. It is true what the forces, our faith in God, our faith in Jesus Christ, that the forces of God's kingdom are released on our behalf to work for us and to give us no supernatural commanding victories in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the word, like I said, Jesus said, for, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. It you overcome when well, what with a superior, what with a superior force. Praise God, hallelujah. Amen. So you overcome with, with a superior what force. I mean, we'll talk about you no know, nations or whatever it is, you no, know, I mean, when you talk about you know the uh, the um uh, you know, some of the powerful nations uh, of the world, they, they, they talk about not just their military strength, but they talk about you know, their military might. They talk in terms of their military might. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, in terms of the kind of you know, weapons they have. Right? Uh -huh. So that in, in, in the case of war, it breaks out, you know, they have these weapons and they use them. You know, uh -huh. So, you know, these days, they, they try not to use, you know, um, to lose uh, human, uh, you know, military personnel. Some of the countries are building some wicked, terrible, wicked uh, kind of, um, uh, um, uh, you know, military uh, sort of uh, weapons which can be used just at the, at the touch of a button. For instance, the drones that are being, <laughs> are being used, you know, drones. Just like because now, I mean, especially with the, especially with America, they they've been uh, saying that you no, know, they've been losing a lot of uh, military, you know, personnel. So they've been working. I mean, man, these guys are so uh, just not just America, but all so other countries are just doing some major research to use robots, uh, like the drones, for instance. They don't have to go, you know, in there 
just you know area bombardment <laughs> that's it so these are the things so they are using such you know to inflict uh, damage especially with russia and ukraine we're seeing that not today you see what i'm saying so now in the same way you and i have got the forces of god's kingdom now listen you know you 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 must understand that this is real, you know. This is, I mean, the, the spiritual warfare that is taking place in the realm of the spirit is far more real than what is happening in Ukraine, between Ukraine and, and Russia. Trust me, between Russia and Ukraine, yeah. So, and these things are ongoing. But you have to be what a citizen of God's kingdom in order to have what God's divine you know, protection over you and to give you victory as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, because of time. Now, what are some of these you know, forces? We're just going to look at you know, maybe just you know, one set of it, one set of these, you know, and these are what the holy angels of God. Okay, all right? So, uh, although we're looking at, you know, having to, we don't conclude any topic here at all. I've only said it because uh, the more you study a particular topic, <laughs> the more uh, revelations, you know, we get, I get, and so and. It's yeah, so rather I probably will probably have to just you know break it and change it to a different you know topic entirely, you know, to just be talking about the different you know weapons, the different forces, you know, uh uh of God's kingdom that are available to us, that are working for us and will work for you if and only if you become a born again Christian, a child of God, you give your life to Christ, you receive Christ as Savior Lord, you turn away from a life of sin. Praise God, hallelujah. So uh, the very first one I want to look at is uh, uh, the angels, the holy angels of God. Like I said, if we go to the book of you know, Hebrews chapter one, Hebrews chapter one, uh, Hebrews chapter one, I'll read verse um, thirteen and fourteen. Hebrews chapter one. We're looking at uh, the first one of such uh, forces of God's kingdom. Hebrews chapter one says from verse thirteen says, "But to which of the angels has he ever said?" Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit your salvation? Okay, they are ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit your salvation. Once you receive Jesus Christ as Savior Lord, when you have repented of your sins, you have turned your back on sin, you have accepted God's forgiveness, and received Christ as Savior Lord, and you are now living for Him, guess what? You have these angels working for you. They are there ministering for those we have that you have already inherited salvation, and so they are then working for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, um, Another very, very, very uh, another, you know, scripture again is in the book of you know, Psalm chapter 103. Psalm 103 verse 20, uh, quite a popular one for me here. Uh, Psalm 103 verse 20 says, says Bless the Lord, you his angels. Uh, bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Now that's very powerful. I repeat that, I read that place again. It says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength. Kitty, they excel in what? They excel in strength. Who do his word, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Heeding the voice of his word. So now it's very important here that these holy angels of God, they are. They obey the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are not like your servants or my servants or whatever it is. No. All right. Some people, you know, look at it you know, wrongly in that way. But they are there to obey. They obey. That's what it says. It says, who do his word. They do what? They do his word. Whose word? God's word. And God's word is who is Jesus. Jesus is the word of God. So they do his word. Praise the Lord. Every word of scripture, this word of scripture, they, they, they are obedient to this word of scripture. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you declare it, and they said, who do his word? Heeding. Now the King James Version says, hearkening. Heeding to the voice. Your voice, your voice, his word. Your voice, my voice, 
his word. And that is why it's so important that you are pregnant with scriptures. You are rich. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, it says no, that let the word of Christ dwell in you what richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Hallelujah. In all wisdom, teaching and what and admonishing what one another. Let the word of Christ dwell in you what richly. So you must, that is, and that comes through your daily study of the word of God, your, your, your reading the scriptures, your meditation of it. That is how you are, feel, you are rich in what? In the words of Christ. So let the word of Christ dwell in you what? Richly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as you are now declaring this in prayer at any time, my God, you know, you see, you know, uh, you know, God, you know, the angels are released. Praise God, hallelujah, on your behalf in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So you must understand that, you know, these, you know, um, uh, these super human beings, they are, they, they, they are, I mean, of course, you have, you know, different, you know, uh, 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 different um, types of them, different classes of them, you know, based on their functions, uh, you know, what they do. But they are there and they are available to work for you and for me. For those who would do what who would inherit what salvation. Have you inherited salvation yet? Have you inherited salvation? Have you received salvation? Okay, if you have not received salvation, then listen, you are doing yourself a great disservice because you can because the angels of God. Uh, uh, they want to protect you, they want to help you, they want to fight for you, they want to support you, they want to, you know, to deliver you. But if you don't, if you have not inherited, if you have not received salvation, they can't, listen, they can't do nothing. They cannot do anything at all for you at all, sadly. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. You get what I'm saying? So you must understand this. It's so important, so vital that you receive salvation in Christ Jesus. And then God's forces will start to work for you. They are available. They are there. God created them for, you know, uh, to, f- f- yeah, well, I mean, they, are, they, they belong to him. They, they, God created them, you know, for his service, for him. And for us who are heirs of salvation, praise the Lord who are heirs of salvation, who have received, who have turned our backs on, on, on lifestyle of sin, have accepted God's forgiveness, and then received Jesus Christ as Savior Lord, and are living for Him, and are working with Him. The Lord's angels, holy angels, are there working for you and I, 24-7 in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you don't have, if you have not received salvation yet, my friend, Please, you are doing yourself a great disservice. You cannot survive the onslaught of the wicked one, of the forces of God, of the, of the forces of Satan's kingdom. You cannot. Listen, read my lips. You cannot. You have to take cover. Take cover under the blood of Jesus Christ. Take cover under the... Hey, the Bible says that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and the world, and they are saying, you have to take cover under who? Under Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. So, please understand this, okay? Uh, these forces of God's kingdom are ready and are willing and are more than able to work for you and I, because we are God's what God's children. Praise God, Hallelujah, Amen. Now, another place again, uh, we see uh, such uh, you know beings, angels. I mean. It's, uh, if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 19, uh, we're talking about you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, you know, just two angels, only two. These are the only two angels were sent by the Lord. I'll read verse 1, it says, Now the two angels, the two angels, just two angels, came to Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodom. When Lot saw them, he rose to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Where now, my Lord? He, says, he said, Here now, my Lord's. Please turn into your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet. Then you may rise early and go on your way. And they said, no, but we will spend the night in the open square. Uh, but he insisted strongly. So they turned into him and entered his house. Then he made uh, a feast and baked on living bread and they ate. Now before they lay down, the men of the city, uh, the men of Sodom, both old and young, 
all the people from every quarter surrounded the house and they called to Lot and said to him, where are the men who came to you, to you tonight? Uh, bring them out to us that we may know them carnally. So that is the kind of the depravity of Sodom and Gomorrah, which is why you know God sent you know, these two angels to do what? To destroy the place, to destroy the place. So this is, you know, it shows you such, I mean, so, and, and what did they do? They protected, you know, they gave, you know, uh, uh, they evacuated you know, uh, Lot and his family out of that place because destruction was going to come. So they came, so God sent them, you know, remember that, you know, Abraham had interceded, you know, for, um, for Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, and then, so, yeah, you know, but I think he stopped at a particular, you know, number. Uh, and uh, but God sent you know, these angels to destroy them, but in order not to destroy the righteous with the wicked, God brought them, uh, brought uh, Lot and his family out. So the same way, the trouble situation in the world, you know, that has been ongoing, you and I are being protected, and we need the help of God's forces this time around. His angels now, it doesn't matter, God will choose whichever one He wants to use, will come and will deliver you and your family. Lot and his family were delivered, so the Lord Himself will deliver you and your family from such evil attacks of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, hallelujah! Now, uh, uh, uh yeah, just only two angels, and they. Phew, they, they destroyed the whole, uh, the whole of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, another place again that we can look at is in the book of you know, Joshua chapter 5. Uh, Joshua chapter 5, uh, I read from verse 13. Joshua chapter 5, we're talking about the angels of God, the holy angels of God. It says, And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, no, but as commander, hallelujah, look at this, but as commander of the Lord's army, as commander of what? Of the army of the Lord, <laughs> I have now come, hallelujah. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, take your sandal off your feet for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. So there was a, so there was to take the city of Jericho, to take that place, you know, the commander of the army of the Lord came. And isn't that powerful? The commander of what? Of the army of the Lord, hallelujah, came for that purpose. Now listen, this commander is available for you and I. It's available. They are available. See, don't just, don't go through life, you know, just uh, see if you are an orphan or you are nobody. No, when you, these are the things that you need to understand why it's so important to be born again. You may not see them. You don't have to see them at all. Now, you know, you don't have to see them, but they are there. They are working for you and they are there to give you and I victory in the name of Jesus Christ. But you just have to maintain your faith in Jesus Christ. Maintain your faith in the world. This is what they hack into. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, if you look at you know, verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 20, it says, So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets. And it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpets and the people shouted with a great shout, the wall fell down flat. The wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took what the city. Now, those walls, I said, it was at the blast of the trumpet. So the walls fell. No, so the commander, that's it, the commander of the lost army, the invisible angels were there, and they caused, they, they, you know, they, it says the walls fell down. Now, archaeologists have excavated this place, and they said that the walls sank. <laughs> This because why? Because these angels, the Bible said they, they excel in strength. They what they excel in strength. So they no matter I don't know how many of them you know surrendered that's that the walls and when the blast when the trumpet was uh, the, the, the the trumpet was blasted, they 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 pushed the walls down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because of what because of their superhuman strength. Now such is available to us, my friends, when you are a born again Christian, serving the Lord. Praise the Lord. They are there. Oh, yes, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, we're talking about, you know, uh, God's 
kingdom forces you know working for you now you know um very very quickly uh as i just round up you look at the second Kings chapter 19 verse um 35 second kings 19 35 second kings 19 35 uh we see uh it says and it came to pass second Kings 19 35 it says and it came to pass on a certain night that the angel of the lord went out and killed in the camp of the Assyrians, 185,000, 185,000, just one. They are very, very fast. They are swift. They are very powerful. They are strong. And when people arose early in the morning, they were, the corpse is all dead. So they are very, so to, because you cannot fight the forces of Satan's kingdom. It's not possible. You can't fight air. Can you see them? You can't. But as you maintain a life of prayer, as you maintain a life of you no, know, of 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 holiness and righteousness, prayer, serving the Lord, these forces of God's kingdom, my God, they are available. They are always available to protect you and are fighting for us day and night. Praise the Lord. As the Bible says, in the book of you know, Psalm chapter thirty-four, it says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who what who do what that fear him. Praise the Lord. And he delivers them. The one of Psalm chapter 91, first of all, Psalm chapter 91 says, Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 91. What does it say there? Psalm chapter 91, verse 11 it says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot what against what a stone. So they are there to work for us, to work for you and I. But the only thing they recognize is the Christ in you. Very, very quickly, lastly, I'll uh, just look at, um, if you look at the book of uh, Matthew chapter 26, Matthew chapter 26, uh, Jesus, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, when they came to arrest him, um, you know, uh, he said, you know, uh, and suddenly, let me, I'll read from verse 51, it says, you know, and suddenly one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. But Jesus said to him, put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Now look at verse 53, it says, Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my father, and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, now, you know, I mean, Jesus did not have to, he, he, he said, okay, now he says, how then could the scriptures be fulfilled that it must what that it must happen? He did not call forth those twelve legions of angels from uh, from our heavenly Father because he came to save humanity from what he had to go to the cross. That's it. But you and I can call those twelve legions. Oh yeah, you can. You can big time always in prayer. You're called, that's that's the word of God. So I use it. I pray with it all the time. Amen. All right, now, so what I'm saying to you is, this, okay, there are many of such, you know, forces of God's kingdom. We'll probably be looking at them again, you know, next week. But just to let you know that these forces are available and are ready to work for you and for me, if and only if you are born again, child of God, if and only if you have decided to turn away from a life of sin, if and only if you have accepted God's forgiveness and received Jesus Christ as Savior Lord because it is the word of God that they heed to. As you declare the word of God and you must have a prayer life, you must have an active word, prayer life. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Standing in faith, faith in what? In God's word. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And that is how you are able to defeat that. That is how these forces of God's kingdom would work for you. So please understand this. Know that, like I said previously, you cannot uh, fight against the forces of Satan's kingdom on your own. You can't do that. You do not have the power. You do not have the capacity. You can't. Yeah, because they are invincible. They are invisible, but they are not invincible. It is only God that is invincible, and His angels that are what invincible as well, who have been empowered by the power, who have been empowered by you know uh, by God, and they are able to do what fight for you and I to give us the victory in Jesus' mighty name. So, please, do not 
uh, you know, uh, deny yourself of these forces. Uh, like the angels are just one of them. Okay, yeah, all right. If you saw, looked at, you know, that in the Second uh, Kings chapter two, uh, chapter six, you no, know, they were they were what you call horses and what and char horses of fire, fairy horses, horses of fire and chariots of fire. So they're there. So and there are many more. They talk about the blood of Jesus. There's there's a fire of God. So many, so many. That's what we call them, the forces. That's what we call what they call what forces. So all these forces, the angels are just one. They all these forces are available for you and I to give us what victory. To give us what to give make us what overcome. As the Bible says in First John chapter five verse four, it says that for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our what our faith so as a born again christian you must overcome the only way you can overcome is through your faith and my faith in the word of god and you know god releases his forces to do what to keep working for you and i daily in the mighty name of jesus christ so First of all, have you inherited salvation? Have you received salvation in Christ Jesus? If you have not, my friend, please, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to do that. You need to do it. You cannot. I mean, you hear people, you know, oh, this person died. Oh, this person had stroke. This person was this and this, no, that, you know. Yeah, I mean, so many things not happen. People sometimes just know dying, like, you know, like, like, you know, just, just drop, they just drop dead. You know, so, but, but as a born again Christian, knowing this, having this revelation, no, God's protection is over you. God's forces are who they are far more superior than the forces of you know Satan's kingdom, and they are there to watch over you, to protect you, and to work for you and I. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! As we depend on the Lord by putting our faith in God through His word. So I want to pray for you right now. And all you got to do right now is to repent of your sins. You have to turn away from your sins and receive God's forgiveness and receive Jesus Christ as Savior Lord into your heart. That is when God's kingdom forces will start to work for you. Would you like to do that right now? Listen, let us pray together right now. It doesn't cost you anything at all. All you got to do is just, you know, repeat this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart as well. Let's pray. Just repeat this after me. Just say, Dear God, I come to you today. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. I have broken your laws. Please forgive me. Wash me clean of all my sins with the precious blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus Christ, your only begotten son, came into this world over 2,000 years ago, died on the cross for me to save me from my sinful nature and from sin. And on the third day you raise him from the dead, that I may be justified, as though I never committed any sins. Therefore, I willingly receive you, Jesus Christ, into my heart, to be my Savior from my sinful nature and from sin, and to be the Lord of my life, to be the master of my life, to be the one whom I now live for, to be the one whom I now follow. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I receive your Holy Spirit to live a victorious and a successful Christian life, loving you, Jesus Christ, living for you, Jesus Christ, serving you, Jesus Christ, all the days of my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for accepting me as a child. For it is in Jesus Christ's holy name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen. I'm going to just pray for you right now. Father, the Bible says that with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Thank you for your grace that has brought this one to yourself, O oh Lord. Lord, as they have repented of their sins, turned away, far decided to turn away from the life of sin, accepting your forgiveness and received your son, Jesus Christ, as Savior, Lord. Father, I pray right now, baptize them with your Holy Spirit and with your fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Precious Jesus, you are the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Therefore, baptize these ones, each of them, with the Holy Spirit and with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that they will be on fire for you, serving you, living for you, O Lord, all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thereby, O Lord, they will receive, O Lord, that heavenly forces, O Lord, working for them all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, because of them, O Lord, I thank you, Lord, that all the members of their families are thereby saved, O Lord, for eternity in Jesus' mighty name. Give you thanks, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. 
Amen and amen. Amen. Okay. Although we're over time right now, but just for two or three minutes, we're just going to pray together that, you know, whatever is challenging, whatever challenges you may be faced with, whatever it is right now, we're going to just you know, call on the Lord right now that the forces of his kingdom right now be released on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, right now, oh Lord, I just want to say thank you. I just lift up every one, oh Lord, uh, just... Uh, under the sound of my voice who is believing who facing one thing or the other lord i just declare and i decree your your the forces of your kingdom now released oh lord on the behalf of each of your children right now each of your sons each of your citizens oh lord citizens of your kingdom right now in the name of jesus christ Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, whatever may be the situation, O oh Lord, they may be faced with right now. Lord, I command, I command right now, the forces of your kingdom right now, bring, O oh Lord, deliverance. Bring, O oh Lord, rescue. Give them, O oh Lord, victories, O oh Lord, over the adversaries, over the forces of Satan's kingdom. Lord, that is fighting their destinies, fighting their blessings, fighting, O oh Lord, what you have, O oh Lord, in store for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I command every yoke over your life right now, broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke over your life, whatever that yoke may be, I command it broken in the name of Jesus Christ. A yoke of sickness, a yoke of disease, a yoke of lack, a yoke of want. I command those yoke, that yoke right now, broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you right now, Lord. I decree, oh Lord, Father, Lord, the, the, the forces of your kingdom, release now, release now, release right now, release right now. I bind every spirit. Every spirit that is causing, oh Lord, any affliction on the in the life of your people, I bind that spirit, wherever you are, I bind you now by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you and I destroy your hold over these ones now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command you now, lose your holds in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, Father, thank you for your kingdom forces. Thank you for the forces of your kingdom right now, O Lord. At work now, release now, Father, for everyone. Honor the sound of my voice, Lord, bringing deliverance, bringing, O Lord, healing, restoration, O Lord, bringing peace and love and joy and hope, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Join Lighthouse Gospel Ministries every Wednesdays for Bible study and Fridays for revival service on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube via the links showing on the screen. Follow us on all our social media pages for daily inspiration from the Word of God.